So on this channel, I've talked about how important it is to have a scale when you're brewing coffee. It'll help you be more precise and more consistent, regardless of your brewing method, be it pour over, espresso, or even a French press. When you get a scale, you'll just make your brew a lot more repeatable. Now, the hard thing is there are many scales out there that you can use for coffee, maybe dozens. Now, fortunately for you, I have tried more than a few. These are the scales that I've used, but I'm going to talk about what's maybe the best coffee scale and actually trying out a couple different options at different price points to see how much price really matters. So today we're going to focus on three scales. There's going to be the Apex Stone, which is about $20. We're going to have the Time War Black Mirror, which is about $60. And then the Akaya Pearl, which is about $250. I want to test these three because they have kind of come out as my three favorites and also because they're widely differing prices. Now, I don't know what the exact prices are at the time of this filming, but I've linked these products in the description below so you can see what the latest price is. Now, when I think about what makes a good coffee scale, I thought about three factors to consider. One, accuracy. If you want 20 grams, it should say 20 grams symbol. Two, responsiveness. If you want 20 grams, how quickly does the scale reach 20 grams? You put that on there. And how quickly and how consistently does it stay on that 20 grams? Because there is actually a big difference. And three, ease of use, or maybe I should say bells and whistles. Yeah. How many other features are on the scale? Does it have a timer? Does it have an auto timer? Does it have a flow rate control? And how intuitive is it to use? So those are the three things we're gonna look at with these three scales. Okay, the first thing we're gonna look at is accuracy. To do that, I actually have a weight kit here that we can use and just see how accurate all the scales. The weight kit even comes with some tweezers, so I don't apparently get any finger oil on the weights and distort the weight, but we're not gonna use that. Instead, we're just going to put one weight on each of them and just see how consistently it gets to that weight. So we'll take a 100 gram weight. First on the apex stone. We can see it reads 100.0. Dead on. No issues there. Okay, now the time war black mirror. Yeah, you can see it's bouncing a little to 100.1 and 100.2 is where it ends up landing. Interesting. And now the Akaya. See, it's reading 100.1. Now it's 100.1 consistently, but it kind of bounced between 100 and 100.1 and 100.2 is where it was bouncing between. So oddly, the Apex Stone has somehow been the most accurate. I don't understand how that is. I would think they would all be the same. And actually, I did do this test last night, and I was sitting at my kitchen table for like an hour putting these weights on each one, and it was pretty much either the same or off by like 0.1 gram. So I would consider this to be essentially all the same, which is interesting that regardless of how much you spend, they're going to be literally the same. In fact, in this test, the cheaper scale is slightly more accurate than the others. Okay, moving on to the second test of responsiveness. The idea here is you'll notice when you place a weight or beans or just pour water over your pour over on a scale, they don't quite just jump to the exact grams you want within an instant. Some take a little longer, some will jump over your weight and then drop down. Some will take, you know, very little time and just respond quickly. And that's kind of important because again, if you're making a pour over and you want 100 grams, you want to get 100 grams and you don't want to over pour because it took two seconds for the scale to catch up to your weight. Yeah, so the way we're going to test this is actually just do a V60 pour on each of the scales. So I have my V60 here set up with some coffee and I have a gooseneck kettle. And I think we're going to pour 30 grams on each for the sake of time and just see, can I pour 30.0 on each one with kind of one smooth pour? How easy is it? And we'll kind of show it on camera so you can just see for yourself how quickly it gets to that level and how much kind of jumpiness is there in the weight. Start with the Apex Stone. Let's actually start with the timer so you can see it flow. See, I kind of quickly got over there. 31 grams, about 32 grams earlier jumped up to. Let's go over to the time war. Get the timer going here. Yeah, you can tell it's a lot more responsive. I stop, it stops within a second. Still go over 32 grams here. 
but stomps along more quickly. Okay, next to the Akaya. And this one responds very quickly. I stop. Barely move by a tenth of a gram. There we are, 29.9. 30 even, about. So I think here you see a different story. The Apex Stone was definitely slower to respond. The Time War Black Mirror was a lot closer and a lot quicker. Then the Akaya was, like, instantaneous in my mind. So now, ease of use, or like I said, bells and whistles. I think really the only things you want are having a scale that tells you grams and to a tenth of a gram, as well as a timer. The timer is going to be needed, whether you're doing a pour over or even an espresso, it's really nice to have. I actually like the Apex Stone scale, and the reason I do is because you'll notice the weighing mechanism is separate than the buttons here. And that just allows you to hit the buttons harder. If you want to hit tar or you want to start your timer, and you don't have to worry about distorting anything here. Meanwhile, on the time more, this is kind of all one piece, you can see. And that just means it's very sensitive to your touch. So you can see just when you touch it from the sides, you can easily add 10 grams or 100 grams, depending on how you touch it. So yes, you'll notice even when you want to tar it, you have to hit the tar button, that adds some weight, and then it resets. So not as easy, but with the nice thing with the Time War Black Mirror, is you can see it has a flow rate, so it'll tell you your grams per second. It's very nice optical numerical with a tenth of a gram on there, so it's very easy to follow. Now, the Akaya is a whole nother level. It has lots of different settings you can use. It's a pour-over setting, it has an espresso setting, and it has not just one app, but two mobile apps that you can use. You can track your coffees, everything you're doing on there in terms of different pours. I have hardly used those settings. Uh, I only used to turn the sound off was the only reason I did. But I can tell you the integrated scale is a lot nicer. It's not quite as sensitive when you touch the sides, and it's a lot easier to tar out. The only thing I didn't like is the flow rate. The flow rate is not actually a number on the scale. Instead, it uses these bars. So you can tell as you pour faster, the bars expand. As you pour slower, they narrow. But there's no real numerical way to see exactly what that flow rate is. And I totally forget what the heavy bars usually mean. So it's a little unintuitive, and I wish it was just a number there. But besides that, the Akaya is very responsive, and you can do a lot with it that I haven't even explored. So overall, where do I stand in these scales? Well, I think the first test in accuracy was just the most interesting, because it tells you that whether you spend $20 or $250, you're going to get the same measurement. So if you don't have a scale, feel free to just get anything, even something you find at the grocery store, and I think that will just help make your coffee more repeatable. I think the Apex Stone is nice if you are just making, let's say, a French press. Very easy to get your numbers. Uh, the Time More, I find to be a little bit of a better option because it has that nice flow rate. I like that. It also has an auto start timer on it. And the price is pretty manageable. Now, the Akaya, I have some mixed thoughts on. I'll be honest, when I started this, I thought I was going to think the Akaya was, you know, way overrated and not a great scale, but it has grown on me a lot. The fact that it's just so responsive, so quick to reach your desired way, is really nice. I can see why this is used widely in cafes, and I understand the value here. Now, is it needed for you? Well, that's a whole other story. I mean, you can buy a grinder for that amount of money, you can buy a better espresso machine, or you can just buy a lot of coffee beans. So, I'm not necessarily going to say kind of what's the best here. It kind of depends on you. It depends on what you're looking for. But if you don't have a scale, you should get one. And let me know what kind of scale you use. Like I said, I had some other scales here that I didn't look at. Actually, one that I will give an honorable mention to is the Waitman scale, this little guy here that really didn't get mentioned here. Uh, but it's too small to pour a filter, but it's also a nice option. So if you have any other options that I should look at, let me know in the comments below. You can find these products also linked in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like or even subscribing to see future updates.